Hey guys, so I did a thing. Um, about 10 years ago, I wrote a poem and I posted it. And uh, at the time, I was kind of reflecting on some feelings that I had. Since then, a lot has changed and it's been a really tough year. Um, we lost Evan in December. And um, he and I used to bounce ideas off of each other and talk about the world and government and things that happened. And we would talk for hours and hours. And, uh, you know, he was my buddy. Um, he would be disgusted with everything going on right now. Um, and a lot of my friends said it would be therapeutic for me to get back in writing. So, you know, I've been harboring all this anger and frustration. So I figured I would do that and give it a try. So I kind of, well, I altered it a lot. This poem, spoken word, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I thought I would go ahead and share some thoughts. So... A wise man confessed with his very own tongue that our world spins around us and there are wars to be won. Democracy, hypocrisy will cause a revolution to force people back to a conformed institution. A group of ill people consumed with their greed, no longer living by the American's greed. We're all hyphenated Americans walking around, living our lives, protecting our grounds. Whether grounds of our homes or grounds of belief, still those multiple proud loving corrupt lying thieves take away what is ours and what we've worked hard for, snatched from our palms and turned into war. Not wars of materials, but more crossing lines of invisible doctrine that once was defined. Written so clearly, constitutional rights, nullified quickly, by human nature's delights. Corrupt individuals that are titled our government, spoiling the system that protects our entitlement to that which belongs to America's people. From society's ladder of what I would call equals. The powers that be too blind to see how poisonous the almighty dollar can be. A country in crisis Finances attacked. Has anyone important considered a consumer's tax? Ignoring their public, so easy to do. Ideas pushed aside, voices not listened to. Ripping our flag away, stitch by stitch. The poor will stay poor. And the rich will get rich. Too many people focused on a perfidious hierarchy will lead this great nation to mass anarchy that soon will unravel a once reverent population of people, just people that form this great nation. Yet our humanness shows and it's ugly to see. Be grateful to live in a place where you're free. The fall of this country, we've all done our part. Here are some issues. Where do I start? Reg regardless of how you feel you were made, that shouldn't entitle you or affect the shade of your skin that you live in, the gender you claim. Stop hurting each other. We're all here to blame. If I am me, and you are you, and he is he, but he is she too. Explain this to me. Does one's pronoun really affect you? I will say that again. Does one's pronoun 
really affect you. If somebody's identity doesn't match what you perceive, perhaps you need to adjust your perception or silence what you believe. Freedom of speech, freedom of choice, doesn't mean blast others' pronouns just to hear your own voice. The point I'm attempting so desperately to make is that unconditional love is real, not something you should fake. Work on who you truly are and hopefully you will see the person that nature intended you to be. Black lives do matter, yet so do all. Got to be careful with this one. But that movement has purpose. To educate small, myopic, and ignorant minds all alike, whether skin be yellow, red, brown, black, or white. Antifa seen blindly, conservatives and fascists too. Streets full of chaos, opinions now skewed. What was meant to be peaceful turned into hate taking one's freedom from boundaries we create. We're told, use your card or please use exact change. Our country's coin shortage, a stepping stone to what's been arranged, the politician's agenda to claim notoriety, as we're really on our way to a cashless society. If we can't agree on a virus or mask, it's not the first time and it won't be the last to divide over material or something one wears or something as simica si something as simple as a yarmulke one wears to point out a turban or a cross or a star or a rainbow or a hijab we've taken it too far we should all consider the sins of the past to enslave another by creed or by caste. Let us address the prejudiced ways and the sins of our nation that exist still today. Should we really place blame for crimes long ago? If that be the case, people really should know that ignorance and hatred go hand in hand. That Every race enslaved is now free on this land. If you're looking behind you, you can't see what's ahead for your focus is backwards. Look forwards instead. The future is ours to all live as one. If we all stick together, it might work because the past cannot be undone. Our faces are covered, yet still our eyes, we can see. But touch is important to connect you and me. Happy faces are hidden, negativity bruised. Am I offended? Or did I just smile at you? Now is the time to use our voices. To laugh, to greet, whatever your choice is. A Pledge of Allegiance once said genuinely, our nation's song sang illustriously. Left wing, right wing, holding so tight, the bald eagle bound, can it even take flight? Now is the time for our focus to shift from lap-eared ringleaders to our greatest gifts. Family and children and lives of our own. Ethical work, love in our homes. You've already judged the words from my mouth. But I ask that you stop. Rethink, without doubt, 
form your conclusion as I have formed mine. They won't be the same. That's not a crime. Then the wise man said what I long to hear. That there is a way out. There's no reason for fear. Through my own beliefs. My own beliefs. Through God and his son. That there is a way out. There's no need for discussion of what will become. That the war in America cannot be won. Now, I know I made a couple of mistakes. Humanness. I know we don't all share the same belief system. That's part of what I'm talking about here. You do you, I do me, I respect you, you respect me. That's how it should be. Your belief might be, let's all hold hands and sing Kumbaya and we'll be okay. Your belief system might be, oh, we're all screwed. The world's coming to an end. Your belief system might be, let's fight for a right and we'll be okay. Keep fighting. At the end of the day, everything's going to go our way. Whatever it may be, it's your choice, you see. Either way, we can all be free. Just respect each other. Know we were all meant to be beautiful, whether it's from science or creator or God, as I would like to say. But for me, this comes from a very deep, deep place. As this is a conversation I would have had with my boy. if he were still alive today. Love to all of you. I hope that you take these words into your mind. Not be offended by them. Know that as long as a human has a beating heart and they're a good person, I love you. I don't care what you believe. I don't care what gender you are, what pronoun you claim what color your skin is. Just take accountability for who you are. That's all I have to say. Long-winded. That's it. Love to all.